Hi, my name is McKinley, and in this video, I'm going to tell you about my three favorite reads of the week and my favorite cover of the week for the week of December 29th, 2021. The last haul of the year. But before we do that, you know I want to thank you for clicking on all of these videos. I know you have so many other boxes to click on, so I appreciate that you clicked on this one right here. Now, let's talk about my three favorite reads of the week and my favorite cover of the week. Before we do that, you know I gotta show you the haul. And we're gonna start off with Marvel, DC, and Image. So let's do that right now. Even with a light week, I still got a pretty decent haul. So let me show you what I got. And we're gonna start off with Marvel. I picked up Timeless, number one. This is, I don't know anything about it really, but people were telling me that I should get it. So I picked it up. Now let's move on to DC. And of course, even though it's a light week, DC is still gonna have a big chunk of books to offer. I got the new issue of Detective Comics, the new issue of Harley Quinn, the new issue of Task Force Z, and rounding out the DC Hall, I got the first issue of a three-issue series, Swamp Thing Green Hell. Now let's move on to Image. And I picked up only one book from Image, and that is the same book that probably everybody else got, Stray Dogs Dog Days. Now moving on to the Indies, I picked up Good Boy. So that was the haul. Now, let's talk about my favorite cover of the week. This week, there were no great Batman covers. There were no great Rose Besh covers. So, what was my favorite cover of the week? I did really enjoy the horror movie poster homage for Stray Dogs, Dog Days, number one. I also really loved this cover for Good Boy on Aftershock. Derek too never disappoints with his Harley Quinn covers. Oh my golly. He's got those, he's got that sexy on lock. But my favorite cover of the week was Christian Ward's cover for Swamp Thing Green Hell. I thought this was pretty cool. And that's why it was my cover of the week. Let me know what your favorite cover of the week was in the comments below. Even though it was a light week, there were still some good books worth reading this week. I really enjoyed the new issue of Detective Comics, and it brought back one of my favorite characters, Deb Donovan. And I cannot wait until there is a Deb Donovan solo issue story, something with her leading the charge. I can't believe there isn't a writer chomping at the bit to write about a writer. But Detective Comics didn't make my top three favorite reads of the week. Neither did Timeless. This was a very much hyped up issue, and it was good, but it still didn't make my top three. And I have to give you, I'll have to give Marvel a shout out. This was, a, it seemed like an extra, extra thick book. So worth the money worth reading, I guess. I, I I always get slack for not giving Marvel any props or anything like that, but that was an extra thick issue, it seemed, and it was a good read. But still, there were three books that were more better reading for me, if you know what I'm saying. So let's get to those right now. And we're going to start off with number three, and that was, without a doubt, Good Boy. Good Boy is a book about a dog seeking out revenge against the guys that killed his owner. So if you are into a crime espionage kind of comic book and you are into dogs that talk and dogs that take revenge, then this might be the book for you. It did not disappoint. It was full of action, full of intrigue. It's only three issues, and this is issue number two, so there might still be time to pick up issue number one, but you might have to be on mycomicshop.com to make that happen. Now let's talk about my second favorite read of the week. My second favorite read of the week 
is a book that was kind of flying underneath my radar, but it didn't deserve to be underneath my radar because it pretty much proved and showed or showed and proved. I'm not sure which way it's supposed to go. But Jeff Lemire came in with his take on Swamp Thing, and this is Swamp Thing Green Hell, the first issue of three from DC's Black Label. It's a prestige series. I don't like the format because it doesn't fit in your normal comic book size. It's a little bit bigger, but it was still a good read and great artwork. I enjoyed it a way lot more than I thought I was going to. Holy cow, I cannot wait for issues two and three. And glad that it's only going to be three issues because that seems about as long as it needs to be. Now let's move on to my favorite read of the week. If your favorite read this week isn't my favorite read of the week, then I just don't know what is going on with you because the best book of the week was without a doubt Stray Dogs, Dog Days. This was a great little origin story for all of the dogs that were in Stray Dogs. You all read Stray Dogs, and if you didn't, I don't know what's going on with you. I didn't read it as it was coming out. I'll be honest with you. I only picked it up in trade after the free comic book day issue, and I read that one, and I was like, holy cow, I gotta get this, and I read the trade. It was awesome. I did get all the floppies because I got all the horror movie floppies. They were easy to get on mycomicshop.com. So I am a trendy poser because I picked up on Stray Dogs way after the fact. But this issue is fantastic. It is just a lot of short stories revolving that a lot of short stories that generate the origin stories of all the dogs that you encounter in Stray Dogs. There is going to be another issue to this series, uh, Stray Dogs, Dog Days. So there's going to be a number two, and then that's it. And then I guess they're going to go on to something else. It's obviously a franchise that is going to keep on going. I know you all read it. Everybody picked it up. Everybody's trying to get the 1 in 25, the 1 in 50. Everybody's hot on Stray Dogs, and there's a reason why. It's enjoyable. It's a great read. And holy cow. It was my favorite read of the week, hands down. What was your favorite read of the week? And if it wasn't Stray Dogs, tell me what it was in the comments below. And if there was a comic that you picked up that I didn't, let me know so maybe I can go over to MCS and pick it up for myself and not be left out. I really appreciate you watching. Peace, love, bunny, and bear.